Hey, welcome back guys, General Rultani here, coming back with a brand new Clash of Clans episode and we are going to be doing something slightly different inside of this video. We're going to do like a strange experiment inside of the game. So basically, we're going to go in for a live attack using an all troop troll army. So we are basically going to use every single one of the troops inside of the game and attack someone's base. We're then going to go in for a second attack. But we're only going to use Dark Elixir Troops. And then we're going to go in for a third attack. And we're only going to use Elixir Troops. So basically we're going to test. We're going to do an experiment. We want to see which one of the armies is going to get the highest percentage points against these bases. Now we're going to try and make all of the bases as fair and as, uh, as similar as possible. Obviously they can't be the exact same. But they can be very similar. So what I want you guys to do. Take five seconds out of your time. Go down below in that comment section. And let me know which one of the armies is going to get the highest percentage points. Is it going to be the Dark Elixir Army? Is it going to be the Elixir Army? Or is it going to be the All Troop Troll Army? Every single one of the troops in the game completely maxed out. Is that going to get the highest percentage? Who knows? Let me know in that comment section. So literally just comment Dark Army, Elixir Army, or All Army. Which one will get the highest, guys? So we're about to get ourselves into the first attack. We are, of course, going to kick it off using the All Troop Troll Army. So the standard announcement, guys, we are approaching 600,000 subscribers, of course, and we are giving away $250 worth of gems in a week's time. So hopefully we can hit 600k in a week. If you haven't subbed to the channel, please make sure you subscribe right now to this channel to stay up to date with the giveaways and, of course, the winners. Don't forget to leave a like to enter the giveaway to show some support to the channel, guys. Let's go for, let's go for a small like goal, 3,000 likes. And, of course, there is a link in the description box. Hit the link, hit enter, and you will be entered. So here we go, guys. Here we go. Check it out. We are using every single one of the troops inside of the game. Take a look at the bottom of the screen there. You can see those barbarians, archers, goblins, giants, wall breakers. I can't even go through every single one of their names. But basically, there are two lines of troops and, of course, two lines of spells. Now, I haven't used every single one of the spells. Maybe I should have done that, but you know what? It doesn't really matter, guys. We are trying to get the victory at the end of the day as well. So here we go. We're taking on this Town Hall 11 base. Now, it's Town Hall 11. It's got two single target Inferno Towers. So we're going to try and make sure that every other base we attack in this episode also have single target Inferno Towers. So as I said, which one of these armies is going to get the highest percentage? I've got a feeling that it's going to be the Dark Army, guys. But could it be the All Troop Troll Army, the one that you're about to see right now? Are we going to get the victory or are we going to lose? So we're going to kick it off sending in the tanks, guys, the golems and the actual giants. Now, the worst thing about using an army like this is you have no idea where the troops are going to go. Like the peck is going around the outside of the base. By the time you've dropped down all of your troops onto the map, you've probably lost half your army. Now, I think we completely ruined the wall breakers there. I don't know where the wall breakers went or I think we sent them in way too late. Now, check it out, guys. We're going to use the Grand Warden's ability. I haven't even dropped down the entire army yet, but we had to drop the free spell on those two single target Inferno Towers. Now, there is a defending clan castle inside of the base and it's completely packed out with archers and giants, which isn't the greatest, guys, because they're going to distract my entire army. Now, the dragon, the king, the queen, and I think the Grand Warden are all on the town hall. Sorry, the queen's over there, but the rest of the troops are on the town hall. The dragon has been the absolute savior inside of this battle, guys. The dragon has managed to take down the town hall. It's taken out the expos, and hopefully it's going to do some damage to that gold elixir storage on the right-hand side there. So the queen's gone down. Everything has died. The dragon is the last man standing. Obviously, he cannot stay up for long, guys, but there he goes. Now we've just got a couple of archers left. So can we get a couple of percentage points using the archers? Going to drop them down by the research center. But of course, we can't really be bothered to wait, guys. So we're going to end it there. And we got a 44% one star, three trophies, but quite a lot of gold. So remember that, guys, the actual, the all troop troll army, you can see from the bottom of the screen that every single one of the troops got 44%. So we have to try and beat 44%. So it's that time, it's that time guys, it is time for the Dark Army, the Dark Elixir Army. Now I was going to do an all Dark Elixir Army, but I decided to change it up the tiniest bit. I, I didn't want to bring Lava Hounds guys. I, could, I really, in reality, I should have brought one Lava Hound, but I just didn't want to because there's no other air troops inside of the actual uh, Dark Elixir Barracks apart from the minions. And they don't really, um, they don't really require a tank like a Lava Hound because the minions are like barbarians, they're like archers. They're just used to pick off extra troops guys, so I, I'm sorry. But I did not want to use an all lava hound. Sorry, I didn't want I didn't want to bring lava hounds in. So we're gonna start it off once again in the exact same way. Dropping in the tanks, of course. Going in with those level seven minions and those witches. Gonna try 
and make a funnel for these bowlers. Now, we've got two entry points already. Some of the bowlers, in fact, I think every single one of them are about to go into the center of the base, which is absolutely awesome. Yes, they are. Now, once again, two single target Inferno Towers. Can we drop a free spell on the Infernos and the Eagle Artillery? Not quite, guys, but it was still a double Inferno Tower clutch with that free spell. Now, we're going to have to pop the King's ability before he does get targeted by the single target Inferno Towers. But it doesn't look like enough troops have gone into the center. And the Town Hall is looking like it's not going to go down, guys. Can we get it? The Bowlers have arrived on it, but there's not enough of them. The single target Inferno Towers and the Expos are, of course, melting them so damn quickly. One single little witch left there. She gets torn apart. And we still have the Queen and a couple of Bowlers on the left-hand side. So the Bowlers done a great job inside of this battle. But, of course, the Witches. I think the Witches were kind of useless, guys. They don't really do much inside of the game anymore. I must say the Witches definitely still in need of a buff, guys. Let me know what you think about that in that comment section. But the Witches, perhaps... I would say maybe even the worst troop inside of the game right now. They really have no purpose. But there we go, guys. The Dark Elixir Army has done it. We've got 53%. But, of course, there is still one more battle to go. It is going to be the Elixir Army. Every single one of the Elixir troops, this is your final chance to change your answer. Which army is going to do the greatest, guys? Is it going to be the Dark Elixir? Of course, it can't be the All Troop Army because that has only got 44% and the Dark Elixir has got 53%. But is the Elixir Army going to beat the Dark Elixir Army? And so here we go, guys. Check it out. Now, I know this is the first Town Hall 10 base we've landed on. Now, the reason we've decided to attack this is because there is a lot of loot inside of here. But it also has a multi-target Inferno Tower, which is going to kind of make up for the fact that it doesn't have an Eagle Artillery. Now, I completely messed up those Earthquake spells, guys. Not going to lie. That was the biggest fail I've done with Earthquake spells in a very long time. I didn't think about it. I just kind of dropped them in. And in fact, I just kind of ruined the raid because, uh, yeah, let's just see what happens here, guys. So check it out. We're going to drop in the Giants, of course. Now, we dropped them all in on the left-hand side, not near the Archer Tower because I do want them to funnel in towards the center. Unfortunately, a big bomb goes off straight away. And of course, that multi-target Inferno Tower is just going to melt my big Ginger Giants, guys. There is no way for them to survive. They're going to take out that Tesla, and here comes a defending clan castle, and it is literally jam-packed with Harry Potters. There is nothing I can do. The Harry Potters are going to melt my entire army. We've dropped a free spell on the Inferno Tower, and of course the clan castle, their defending clan castle. We've got a baby dragon right near them, but for some reason, it doesn't want to take them out. Check it out, guys. Now, it finally starts breathing on them, but by the time it does, they've already taken out every single one of my balloons. Now, the queen and the baby dragon have made it into the center of the base and I'm not gonna lie that baby dragon definitely done a great job there took down the town hall but check it out we're only up to 33% so far guys and we've lost pretty much the entire army so the dragon is still up on that right hand side we got a couple of archers and a couple of barbarians and a couple of goblins remaining guys so it's gonna be a cleanup job can we hit that 54% obviously it's not gonna happen so bear in mind guys we are about to get ourselves into a final live attack so do not count your cards too early guys we're gonna ask you one final question so the archers just doing a little bit of a cleanup job they're gonna take us to 40% and then of course the raid is gonna win there so as I said the winner so far is the dark elixir army but I'm gonna go in for one final attack guys and it's gonna be my favorite troop in the game of course the bowler the bowler is definitely my favorite troop so we're going to be using a 20 bowler attack strategy i want you guys to let me know are we going to get a high percent using this army than the dark elixir army so of course we have 54 percent to beat now this is going to be a live attack guys we are ready to rumble we got the spells we got the heroes and of course we got the troops now it's a mix of course it is dark elixir troops and of course it's elixir troops but let's go and find ourselves a live attack Looking hopefully for two single target Inferno Towers, but it really doesn't matter too much. Let's just see if we can get a decent victory. Maybe even get a triple star. In fact, guys, I'd rather find some loot. I'm looking for the loot. I'm looking for some Dark Elixir. Looking for some Elixir. And, of course, looking for some gold. Now, I would like to find maybe half a million gold, half a million Elixir, and maybe two 3k DE. That would be great. If not, I'm also game for finding maybe like a 30 trophy offer and maybe being able to take it down for a triple star so we'll be back in a few moments time once we find a base that is worthy of taking down all right guys so you know what we're going to change our mind up a little bit this guy has got a troll base he's got a troll base and we're going to take it on because you know what i'm going to teach him a lesson well i'm going to hope to teach him a lesson you never know i could completely flop guys but what we're basically going to do is we're going to drop all of the wall breakers there hopefully they can break through perfect 
Absolutely perfect. That couldn't have gone any better. So we're going to drop the giants and a couple of the uh, the wall breakers. Sorry, a couple of the bowlers out there. Then we're going to drop the rest of them into the center. And I'm going to hope that we can actually, uh, you know, triple star this base here. So check it out, guys. We're going to drop uh, a couple more bowlers in there. We're going to drop the Harry Potters as well. And we're also going to drop our first rage spell. Now, the second rage spell is going to go into the center there. There goes the wall breaker. Sorry, the uh, the bowlers. We're going to drop the free spells down as well. We're going to pop the Grand Warden's ability. Wow, a big bomb has gone off, guys, and done so much damage to the bowlers. But the healer's in there with a rage spell. And it looks like it's done a great job so far. Let's see if we can take down this base for a triple star, guys. It's looking like it could be a possibility. We've already got a two star. Can we three star? No, big bomb once again. Damn. Doing so much damage to my bowlers. We need the bowlers to get a healer on them. Unfortunately, the healer did not go towards the bowlers. Now, the queen is still up and alive, guys. She hasn't used her ability yet, so we could potentially get a three-star if we're able to take down the enemy king and, of course, keep the queen alive. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen, guys. The healers have arrived on the queen, though. So there's always a possibility. You never know. You just never know with a queen. We're up to 70% so far. There we go, guys. Just secured the 70, which means we do get 100% loot bonus, which is decent. Not too many defenses left, to be honest with you. But I'm not sure if the queen can do it. The expo, wow, she can't do it, guys. The level 26 queen just doesn't have the firepower. So let's just end it there. No point carrying on. We only got seven trophies, but we did get quite a bit of loot. And we did just wreck that guy's troll base so quickly. So this is going to be the end of the episode, of course. The winner in the end was the Bowler Army, but that doesn't really count, guys. So the winner, in fact, was that Dark Elixir Army. Who got the correct answer, guys? Who got the right answer? No cheating, no cheating. So if you've made it all the way to the end of the episode, don't forget to leave a like right now on this video to show some support to the channel. Subscribe, guys. We are approaching 600,000 subscribers. There is going to be a second episode in a few hours' time, and you know what? I feel like playing some more COC, so we're going to stick to this game for now. We may do some more Royale later on in the day or maybe tomorrow. So I will see you shortly. Have a great day, guys. Love you all. Peace out.